Hello and welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Alex. I'm Andrew. And as always, with great power comes great TV ability. Woo! That's what we're doing today. We're starting with a hot takes. We haven't done a hot takes in a little bit. Yeah, so it's been a couple weeks. Should get spicy really quick. People are asking for it. We thought, all right, we'll give it to you off the bat. Before we hop into that, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, the Discord. We're, we're doing lots of things on all of those platforms. Make sure to check out the giveaway. The link to all of this is in the description. We're giving away a shirt. we got more giveaways coming in the future. We're excited about all of that. Yes. Also, Patreon on the horizon, question mark? Patreon could be happening. Uh, we've got plenty of stuff that we do in these episodes that we cut just yep. for time because we want these to be not an hour 50 because that's how much we typically film. This episode has an entire segment that we cut. So... Speaking of things that we cut, this episode took a long time. Uh, yeah. Uh, has anybody ever told you you look like Jason Momoa? Only you. Okay. We cut the uh, the hot takes, actually. Yes, it was TV themed, and uh, so yeah, it's just going to be available on our uh, Patreon. It doesn't exist yet. Yep. So let us know if you want to sign up for that, and maybe we'll make it, or maybe the hot takes will never come out. No one will ever see it. We argue a little bit. Um, we also argued about whether we we're going to cut it or not. He's angry with me. I'm not happy. I'm not in a good mood. I don't even want to film this. I want to quit. So maybe tell us you want to make a pa you want us to make a Patreon and maybe I won't quit. That'll make Alex happy. Yeah. So if we get enough people commenting and saying they want a Patreon, we've got a bunch of behind the scenes extra segments like this that are going up on the Patreon. But this episode was long enough. We're at freaking MegaCon this week. We're 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 we're, we're busy, and uh, we had to cut cut something, and and this is what it ended up being. So uh, let us know. Okay. Bye bye. Bye-bye now. Here's the rest of the episode. We got a guest. And this is Monica. Welcome. Round yeah, of applause. Woo! Woo! Uh, she does nerdy content. She does cosplay. She's a nerd. Um, She's going to help us moderate. Deborah yep. asked for, uh, she said we should be having more people on the pod yep. to just outweigh us trying to kill each other. Yeah. To because like, at the end of the day, what she is trying is not to make us better men, to, but just to prevent a homicide. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a great addition. I suppose. So we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to do agree or disagree. So does everyone have their cards? We've got cards as introduced. We're going to read some uh, statements. <laughs> what we're not going to do is that. No! Oh, it didn't shoot. Yeah! Oh, shoot. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> there we go. As we explained earlier, we told you the button would be coming soon. Well, this is what it is. Anytime we press this button, Monica is a wild card here. She's got guns back here. She's got, she's got many options to punish us. And she decides every time this button is pressed to punish somebody. So if I press it, she can punish me or Andrew or herself, I guess. I just don't know why she would do that. Very fun. <laughs> okay, um, before we start, Monica, tell them something about you. Okay, um, I'm Anything. 10 years old, I'm a cosplayer, and I just started. So, yeah. what's up? Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Cool. Twitter. She'll be linked below. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll edit, or I'll edit it in. You, well, you'll also edit it in. It'll be the... Yeah. Don't, don't tell me what to do. Don't. I can use whatever sound effect I want, because guess what? I'm the editor. Nope. I'm going to actually use... I'm going to take that sound by and use it as the pop sound effect. You ever thought about voice acting? All right, here we go. These are from Discord or Instagram. These are all from you guys. Um, there are a couple that I made up, but most of them are from fans. So uh, if you agree, show agree. If you disagree, show disagree. And um, I'm sure it'll be fun. Here we go. We'll also say it for those of you listening. The John Wick movies are the greatest action movies of all time. Three, two, one. Disagree. 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 They're great. They're just not the best. They're just not the best. They're, There's so many to choose from. I mean, Mission Impossible. Freaking. Yeah. Yeah, wow. those are your favorite action movies. Yeah. The only thing I give John Wick over the Mission Impossible is that John Wick, it's like three for three. And people are saying the fourth one is just as good. So, like, they haven't had any, like, slumps. Mission Impossible has some pretty high highs, but they also have some pretty low, low. Like, they, yeah, uh, not... uh, Mission Impossible 2 is bad. Yeah, that's one of my least favorites. Yeah. Um, the Scooby-Doo uh, 2002 and 2004 live action movies are goaded and deserve no hate. Three, two, one. Agree. Disagree. Agree. You haven't you seen them. I you, know, but like... You do not have... You can't judge if you haven't seen them, go, They're not goaded. 
They're great movies. Yeah, they are. They deserve no hate. They deserve some hate. Hey, hey, you ready for this? Name one movie that James Gunn hasn't direct has directed before 2014. So before Guardians, name one movie, any movie. Mm-hmm. Just the freaking Scooby Doo movies, which means that those movies are good enough that they got him on Marvel's radar. So that's one way to look at maybe it. Maybe you should go f- watch them. You jackass. <laughs> Avengers Infinity War is better than Avengers Endgame. Three, two, one, go. Agree. Agree. Oh, disagree. you're an Endgame fan. Why? Endgame is so much better. I mean, okay. Whoa! Oh, yeah, okay, okay, so okay, much okay, better. Okay, so first much better. of all, I know it's really long, but I like how it builds up to the storyline. Yeah. And the ending. No, no. I mean, that's true. Portal. That, that beats anything. The last 40 minutes is, I'm sorry. The last 40 minutes is the best 40 minutes ever. It was the best 40 minutes of my entire I don't think existence. I feel that way. Wow. 40 minutes? The, oh. the portal scene is yes. undefeated. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. I think the Civil War battle is better. Nah. No, you don't. You did not yes. No, you say, don't. You did yes, not I do. No, you don't. I think the Civil no, War battle the is portal, better the than mo- the Endgame battle. The moment, the culmination of everything that Marvel is in the Infinity Saga for the last 10 years, coming to a point where you hear on the left and Falcon coming out. The and portal scene is bet. great. That's what I'm, that's the, what the I'm talking about. The portal scene is great, but the final battle, I think that the superhero battle in the airport of Civil War okay, is better. I might give you that. I think that's still a I mean, little it's ridiculous. A, it's a good one. But, but the, like, that one particular no. moment but is... But the, the portal scene isn't even my favorite moment in Endgame. I think the Howard Stark, Tony Stark conversation at S.H.I.E.L.D. is the best scene in that movie. That's not the best moment, though. No. no. I love that. I mean, it's a great scene. It's not the portal scene. Right. The portal scene's Ian on a... is invalid. Thank you. Invalid. I like her. I need to use that phrase more often. How to Train Your Dragon is the greatest animated film of all time. Three, two, one. Disagree. 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 This is the same thing as the John Mission Wick. Impossible yeah. John Wick thing. It's it's, it's great. great. It's so good, but it's not the best. No. That's we just, said it's no. great at the same time. Clink me. That's on gang for real. For, for real. real, for real. Um, yeah, it's just hard to say it's the best. There's so many. Other. Into the Spider-Verse. Well, Spider-Verse is my favorite animated movie. That, all the Pixar ones. Nemo. Toy Story 3. Monsters Incredibles. Inc. Monsters, Inc. Up. Mm, I think How to Train Your Dragon is better than Up. Well, it's, they're both better than Cars 2. Um, I think Cars 2 might be better uh, than How to Train Your Dragon. They're Cars 2. No! Cars 2 is better. It's not better yes, than How to Train yeah! Your Dragon. Yeah! No, it's yeah! not. Yeah! Yes, it no. is. Yeah! Yes, Get- Where did you- Cars 2 is a banger. Cars 2. You're let's, sleeping okay, on hey, Cars hey, 2. Hey, shut your mouth. Hey. <laughs> I need you to, li- both of you. Cars 2 is not better than How to Train Your Dragon. Didn't make this out. British intelligence. Stop saying Tomato. Finn McMissile. Average Stop. intelligence. It's not that funny of a line. Hilarious. Especially when you keep repeating it. Finn McMissile. You think Cars British 2 is better than... Yes, it have is. you seen Tomato. How to Train Your Dragon? That movie Average is intelligence. so much better. And yes, I've seen McMissile. How to Train Your British Dragon. Intelligence. Tomato. <laughs> Average intelligence. They're laughing I, every I, time. I, they're laughing because of how stupid you are. Finn McMissile. Like, McMissile. like it's, it's impressive how stupid Tomato. you are that you keep saying it. Average intelligence. I'll unplug your mic. <laughs> I cannot believe you, y'all just said that to me. How to Train Your Dragon is... Infinite. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is better than the first one. That is true. And I've heard the third one's better, but I haven't seen it. Androids are actually better than iPhone. Three, two, one. Disagree, because we're, we're not all psychos. Yo. I don't think you're a psycho if you have an Android, but... Apple. It's, it's not better. It's not. Uh, Wait, it's, Apple's better. It's funny. It reminds me of those Google Pixel commercials that, the, you know, the Google phone... That at the end of every single commercial, the YouTube ads, it's like, oh, my name's Sandy, and I have a Google Pixel. It sounds like you're at, a- at AA. Like, hi, my name's Sandy. I'm an alcoholic. It's like you're ashamed to have a the Google The fact that Pixel. you have to say it means that they're not as good. Exactly. Yeah. Um, pineapple belongs on pizza. Oh, this should be interesting. Three, two, one. Disagree. 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 Okay, good. Look at us go. A dear yeah. friend of mine likes black olives and pineapple on his pizza, and he thinks it's like the perfect pizza order, and he's always trying to convince me, and every time I see him order it, I vomit. Are you just surrounded constantly by people who have such bad opinions, and that's why you are who you are? Well, so it's funny. I will say, I don't think my opinions are bad, obviously, but I will say when Shang-Chi came out, I had no idea that people liked it. I'm still shocked that that's the video that pissed everyone off. I assumed everybody hated it because all my friends hate it. You like Shang-Chi? You like Shang-Chi? Yeah. Of course. No, Shang-Chi's bad. I liked the Pixar movie Turning Red. Three, two, one. Disagree. I didn't see it. Good for you. No, I can't. I mean, I will say it was better than I thought it was going to be, but it was still not my favorite. It was eh. 
Uh, Mario Kart is the best video game. Again, I think we're all going to agree. Three, two, one, disagree. This is the same thing as the yeah. Mission Impossible John Wick thing and the How to Train Your Dragon thing. Yeah. It's just there's too many video it's games. It's good, but it's not like To definitively best. say it's the best. Do you play Mario Kart? Yeah, I play do Mario you, Kart. Do you play Super Smash Brothers? I actually don't. Oh, you should. Alex destroyed I'm a, me. I'm a big Smash guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, do you have a favorite video game? Hogwarts Legacy. Ooh. Ooh. Best game ever. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I've heard it's very good. Yeah. Speaking of Harry Potter, Umbridge is worse than Voldemort. Three, two, one. I can't make a decision. You got to. <laughs> you have to uh, respect the countdown. Three, two, one. You agree. agree. She's terrible. Oh. See, Voldemort is evil, but he knows he's evil. Like, he knows he's doing she it for himself. She she's doing the right thing. Umbridge is like, I'm the best person ever. Yeah, and, oh, she's the worst. Voldemort kills and tortures, and Umbridge, like, tortures kids and thinks that, like, she's a saint. Yeah. Okay, but Voldemort tried to kill a baby, bro. Baby That's true. That is a great point. Yeah. That's true. That is a great point. But he can't feel love. Like, I feel bad for him after Half-Blood Prince. Yeah, but he did that to himself. Yeah, he no, did. No, he didn't. He did he didn't ask to be conceived under a love potion. He can't feel love. That's why he can't feel love? Yes, because he was conceived under a love potion. Mm, well, regardless of the reasoning, I feel like Umbridge behind closed doors, if it would like help her career or like help her look better. 100% would murder a baby. She would murder a baby. 100%. She would. 100% would murder a baby. Voldemort's just fine with everyone knowing he did it. Yeah. Umbridge just wants to do it secretly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Spider-Man's the best superhero. Three, two, one. Disagree. No, oh, hard hell. disagree. Hard, no, okay, hard not. disagree. Calm down. He, he doesn't like he's number two, but he's a clear number two. The gap between him and Batman is decent. Just, just no, 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 no. no. I'm offended. Ooh, you offended her. You offended our I'm guest. I'm very offended. I'm sorry. That, oh! <laughs> I was about to say that, that might, is what you get. That might be worth a button press. Oh nice shot. Hit him right in the shoulder. Um, no, Batman's great, but it's Spider Man. The Batman. Speaking of the Batman. Is a better Batman movie than The Dark Knight Rises? I, I haven't counted down yet. Can it's, you? It's it's better than like two Batman hey, movies. Hey, can you put your thing down? We're gonna follow the rules here. Put it. I'm making right. up for how slow I so was. So The Dark Knight Umbridge Rises. One. That's the one with Bane versus the Batman. The Batman uh, with Robert Pattinson. Uh, three, two, one. Agree. Disagree. You you're disagree. So you're a Dark Knight yeah. Rises hater. Get the f Dark, out of here. Yeah, the Dark Knight. Dude. It's, it's, it's good. They're, 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 no. Okay, here's why. Robert Pattinson, the Batman. Okay. I don't know why this is a continually controversial thing that I keep saying. I've said this about Homecoming. I prefer the superheroes in my superhero movies to do something cool. This is a very basic standard I have. Batman doesn't do... He, he, in, in The Dark Knight Rises, he doesn't do anything. Wrong. He, he, comes, he gets out of a cave. Wrong. He gets his back broken by Bane. He saves the city. By, uh, but he needed help. Okay, no. He was losing. Okay, he gets beat by Bane. His back is broken. That's fine. That's in the comics. He goes to the, the, the thing and gets out of it, the cave. That's fine. And then he comes back and he doesn't do anything. Anyone, Wrong. anyone with a plane could have flown the bomb away. That's not Batman. Wrong. He, not he, his plane. He loses. He is losing the fight to Bane. And uh, Talia Agul. No, no, he beats that fight. He wins, and he's about to, like, he's got Bane on the ropes, and then his woman that he f in that movie betrays him <laughs> takes him off guard. That's the only reason he needed saving. Well, so maybe Batman should be a good enough detective to not be tricked like that. And number two, I don't want the climax of a trilogy of Batman movies to be Catwoman having to save Batman. Wrong. The climax of the trilogy of movies is him sacrificing himself for the Which city. Which he doesn't even do because we see him in Paris. Well, that is the, Nolan, you're showing that you're, you, you are a trash Nolan fan. Do you believe that that's him at the end or is that uh, uh, Alfred? Blah, blah, blah. Batman flying off into the distance is not enough Batman coolness for me to like the movie. I would like him to not lose. So do you not like Logan? What's he doing, Logan? What's he do? <laughs> okay, here's the, here's, here's the thing. Here's I've the got thing. him. Here's the thing. There is that one scene where he gets hyped up and he was running through the forest and he's just killing all those people. You're correct. And he helps the kids get to the, the border. 
You're correct. Just like Batman helps all the policemen get out of the subway and becomes a, 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 a symbol for the people of Gotham to rise up against Bane's goons. That's a good argument. Get the f*** out of here, bitch. The Batman's better. The and, Batman. And the Batman. Oh, sh Robert Pattinson's Batman does nothing in that movie. Absolutely not true. Uh, he does nothing. Absolutely really not true. Does do that nothing. exact that movie. Actually really the exact true. movie happens if you take Batman out. It's the Indiana Jones thing. If you take Indiana Jones out of Razors of the Lost Ark, the same thing, thing happens. happens. I know that argument. The same thing happens with the Batman. The fucking city gets flooded, and all the people that die die. No. Batman doesn't no, save a single person. No. Oh, no. he saves Catwoman. Congratulations. It's all those Riddler people at the end, and he also is a detective in that movie. We have not gotten that. And he Batman. doesn't figure anything out That's on time. That's not true. He, he, oh, That's he not figures true. out the thumb drive is the thumb. Which was dope. Dumb. That, we got Batman detective. We got detective Batman, finally. And he doesn't figure anything He's out. He's smarter than what's his face in The Dark Knight Rises getting betrayed by his hookup. D Robert Pattinson gets His one night stand beats him at the end. Oh, that's a good Batman movie. No. Unreal. The Batman with Robert Pattinson is better than The Dark Knight Rises. Unreal. What a also, terrible opinion. Also, Logan is what can get away with that more because Logan is a way better film than The Dark Knight Rises. Okay. Um, Logan is a phenomenal film. Yes. And you know what? It is. It's clearly a better film than Dark Knight Rises, but it's the same argument that you're making. Oh, they don't do anything or whatever. He does. You're wrong. I'll leave it at that. There's also that dope scene at the start of Logan where he just like kills those three like taxi drivers and it goes through his face. My mom, my mom is a huge X-Men, Hugh Jackman fan. She's just likes Hugh Jackman as a person. And we saw Logan and I was like, get ready. This one's rated R. She's like, oh, they must be swearing a bunch. No. And <laughs> He's the murdering movie, people. The movie started where they're opening night. My mom's like 60. And we're there opening night and the... And he goes through his face and she just goes, oh, and everybody <laughs> went nuts. That's great. I love it. Uh, Ratatouille and Up are the best Pixar movies of all time. Three, two, one. Disagree. Three. They're great movies, but not the best. What's your favorite? Uh, Incredibles Nemo Toy Story 3. Cool. Monsters, Inc. Forever Iconic. Monsters University. Ooh. Pebbles. Ooh. You had me in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. Monsters University fell off. Uh, but Monsters Inc. is a great I pick. I personally love it. The Incredibles is also my favorite. Um, oh, yeah. Cars 2 is better than Cars. Obviously, we have already talked about this. Three, two, one. Disagree. Y'all agree because you're literally out of your mind. Cars 2 is awesome. We're totally not out of our minds. Cars Maybe 2 is okay, awesome. Okay. Maybe I should watch it again. Finn McMissile. British Intelligence. <laughs> Tomater. <gonna> average Intelligence. <laughs> I'm afraid if I press the button, she's going to hurt she's me. She's on Team Cars, too. Yep. Okay. Yeah. She-Hulk is the best MCU show. No. That's a shame, because I love She-Hulk. Three, two, one, disagree. I love She-Hulk. I like it more than everybody else, but WandaVision and Loki are bo both clearly better. Oh, and Moon Knight. No. Nope. I, I like Moon Knight better. Moon Knight is the second worst show. What? Yep. You did not just say that. I just you said that. You did not just say that. Yep. That was honestly a show I really liked. Yeah, Moon Knight is good for 25 minutes. <laughs> I say the Bullshit. same thing about being your friend. It was cool the first 25 minutes. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, magicians are attractive. I got this one from Instagram. <clears throat> like it's attractive. It's like a plus if a guy yeah. does magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Three, two, one. Agree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. I love magic. I don't. I, do I don't too. know how to do it or anything, but I love watching it. Oh, I do too. I'll it's pay so top cool. dollar to see a good magician. Me too. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, baby? <laughs> I don't know if the podcast people know I'm a magician. Okay. Um, Lord of the Rings is long and boring. Three, two, one. Disagree, disagree, disagree. It's long. It's long. It's not boring. I, I can see what they're where they're coming from. I read the books, and the first book was, like, extremely long. Like, J.R.R. Tolkien, like, took chapters to just describe like a grassy hill or something um, that sounds tedious it was very tedious but i was also like 12 so maybe i could maybe i was just i watched not... it when i was six you watched it when you were six yes. wow that is young no it is my father i remember i remember watching it so many times he literally turned off the tv he was like this is too violent for you wow <laughs> like, he was so mad at me wow. when i was watching it i was There's like some... dad I love it. I was like obsessed. They murdered a lot of orcs. It was kind of violent. It, it Dude, was. The, the, For a six year old. Yeah. The fight at Helm's Deep with Legolas and Gimli. Freaking awesome. Um, Spider Man deserves what happened to him in No Way Home. Three, two, one. Okay, so let me explain. Oh my 
my god. This sounds really heartless. For those of you listening, me and Andrew said agree, and Monica said disagree. Okay, you obviously disagree because terrible things happened to him. Yes. And he's a hero, and he didn't deserve it. But here's the thing. I don't think he... Okay, well, there are are a couple of bad things happened to him. Aunt May dies. Yes. And everyone forgot who he was. Why did this happen? Because he did not listen to Doctor Strange. That is true, but I still don't think he deserves So, like... Doctor Strange knows more about the multiverse than a teenager Spider-Man, right? He is Sorcerer Supreme, or was. And, like, I understand why Peter did what he did in that movie, because he's trying to save them, and, like, that's his heart, and that's what he always has to do. And I like that. But at the same time, the first time watching the movie, when he went against Doctor Strange and stole the box from him, I was like, what are you doing? You could erase, you could erase whole timelines if you don't, like, handle this properly. Let the Sorcerer Supreme do what he's doing. And because he didn't listen to Doctor Strange, now his aunt is dead, and now no one knows who he is. You kind of deserve parts of that. But I know that's pretty uh, cruel to say. That is very harsh. I disagree completely. I'm just glad it all happened, because now we're going to get a real MCU Spider-Man. Okay, that is true. That's true, yeah. Homecoming, right, like, Homecoming like, wasn't that great. So ex- I'm so excited for him to have no money and nobody know who he is. And <laughs> I can't wait for to see Spider-Man have financial problems. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're excited for And that. the suit, he doesn't have all the gadgets. Ugh, I'm so excited. That's true. So excited That's for true. the future of Spider-Man. I was sitting next to a dear, dear friend of mine who's a big comic Spider-Man guy. Homecoming is one of his favorite MCU, uh, one of his favorite Spider-Man movies, period. By the way, correct. Um, but he literally, when... He's jumping around New York in the satin suit that he sews and everything. He was crying. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's great. Um, I'd rather hook up with characters from Star Wars than characters from Marvel. Oh, that's such a hard question. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, ready? Three, two. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've got my answer. Three, two, one, go. Disagree. Wow. Disagree. I have to. Why? We're all picking Marvel, right? Yes. So I have one reason. You could convince me that the Star Wars girls are hotter than, like, the hottest Star Wars girl is probably Amelia Clark's Kira. Uh, that That's in my opinion. Um, but there's just so much in Marvel. You get Black Widow. You get Scarlet Witch. You get um, Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah. You get... Um, I mean, Rachel McAdams. Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. Like, there's just, there's so many options with Marvel. And I only have Amelia Clark Kira, Daisy Ridley Ray, Carrie Fisher, uh, Leia, like, I mean, Natalie Portman, Padme, but like, that's it. So, yeah. like, maybe those girls are hotter. But there's but not as much. There's in- so many in Marvel. What about you? How about you? I agree because, okay, this was a hard one for me because Hayden Christensen. Oh, yeah. Literal, my celebrity crush. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. love Amazing. him. But like you said, like Marvel does have more. Like, for example, yep. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Oh, my God. Oh now, my technically, God. they have Andrew Garfield in there, too. Andrew Garfield, so <laughs> fine. Yeah. So I was going to go Star Wars because if you're just thinking Star Wars characters, you get the whole universe. So That's you true. get – you don't have to just choose from the main characters. And I was like, well, Star Wars – I was thinking Marvel – is a smaller universe but now that we have guardians of the galaxy and like the multiverse like we have just as much as star wars has because we have other planets oh, and stuff zoe like. zaldana yeah gamora's great um dobby is the best harry potter character three two one boom. disagree hard whoa. disagree whoa You're, he's not whoa. top 10 y'all are tripping whoa he hey, might not even be the best whoa house i'm okay, sorry he's the best house elf. creature no no well, creature's why, why gross and weird he's- creature's hilarious weird dobby is awesome yeah but dobby is... you would rather have creature as your house elf well that makes sense he's he's sad and lonely <laughs> and 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 he's just like he, he can identify with creature because he just wants to like be like creature would creature would say batman v superman is a good movie creature would say the last jedi is the best star wars movie Phil, creature creature i would, don't think last jedi is the best star wars movie creature it's top would, three creature would have th- these opinions you would say that yeah dobby would be like Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dobby, signature move. Do- <laughs> Dobby, Dobby would be much more wholesome, and he's better. The, the filmmakers cut, like, all of Dobby's screen time. I know, and it made me very sad. Very he's oh, in, yeah. like, multiples of the books. He's just he's in, like, Chamber in of Secrets. Almost and- all of the books, yeah. but he's only in the two films. Yeah. 
I uh, love Dobby. Dobby is one of my faves. Earthbending is the best type of bending. Three, two, one, boom. Hard disagree. Yes, why? Water. I agree with that, water. Okay, water is up there. It's between water and air. Uh, fire and earth are too destructive. Water and air, so with you water- You build a house with earth? I mean, yeah, but not one that we would live in nowadays. It would be helpful. You can help build things, yeah. But like, if you're just like trying to, if you want to like, if you're fighting, it's, you'll destroy a sidewalk. <laughs> that really got me. <laughs> okay, so why water? Why water? Because I know what you're going to say. You blood bend. Yep. And obviously all like water has like healing properties yep. and stuff. Yep, I yep. mean, like it's just, it's in my opinion, the most... Okay, Versus. so I, I've had this conversation with my family, and most of them picked water. And eventually, we kind of all agree that maybe it's air, because air allows you to do a lot of the same things that other bending does uh, on top of other things. Like, you can move rocks, and you can move fire with air, but you can also fly. Flying is huge. Yes. You can float around. But also, is this, this is a world with, this is where right we're now. in the Avatar Last Airbender world? Uh, either one. Because in the Avatar Last Airbender world, you can just get an appa. Yeah, but what if you don't have op and you just want to like glide around a little bit? Oh yes. Also, the the you have to be a You're right, you can move around water with air. Right. But I cannot bend your blood with but, air. But the only people we ever see Do they ever take air out of a room? And uh, like suffocate people? In in Korra, they do that? One of the villains suffocates the Earth Queen and you see the air come out of her lungs and she dies. That's fire. Yeah. Is Korra good? It's fine. I, I have reasons for not liking it, but um, it, it, it's, it's fine. Um, J.K. Simmons is in it. The only reason, only, the only time you ever see someone bloodbend is an extremely gifted master of a waterbender on a full moon. Mm -hmm. So you can only do certain things with water if you're really, really good at a certain time. Mm -hmm. I think that is a disadvantage for water. Okay. No one ever talks about that. Um, but we agree. Those are the top. Yeah, water and air for sure. Um... Speaking of Avatar, we got like five more. Avatar Last Airbender is better than the Avatar movies. Three, two, one, go. Agree. 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 Really? Mm -hmm. You like the, the movies more? I actually do, yeah. Which one do you like better, the first or Way of Water? First. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Avatar, the movies are great. Oh, yeah. I do not like the first one, but I think that the second one is amazing, and it was my favorite movie of last year. I, I like the second one better than the first. Uh, I like both. Way of Water. I wasn't excited for the sequels coming, but now I am because Way of Water. I agree with so that good. perfectly. Clink me. That's on gang for real, for real. For real, for real. Um, I mean, Avatar The Last Airbender is my favorite movie. It, or favorite TV favorite show. Favorite show of all time. And I, I also, I love it. I grew up with it. Yeah, so everything. hard for me to go against that. Mm -hmm. um, Chipotle is life. Disagree. Three, two, one. Disagree, disagree, disagree. disagree. disagree, disagree. But y'all oh. like it. I love it. Uh, like I probably had it like a couple times, but it's I don't really, like it. It's really no. Chipotle's garbage. I no, so you're wrong there. But I just it's not life. It's not my favorite, yeah. even fast food restaurant by a no. mile. So you like it? You're aunt on it. I just I like love it. it. You could say I love it. I, I I would get it once a week. Ooh. Once a week. Okay. That's I've gotten it like once a year, and that's too much for me. That's crazy. Uh, Woody is the wo Woody is the worst Toy Story character. Three, two, one. Disagree. disagree. Good. Bonnie, that bitch. Okay. Bonnie. Whoa. Bonnie. Bonnie gets too much hate. Nope. Bonnie does nothing wrong. No, I hope she gets off. bullied at, at her summer camp. Bonnie doesn't... <laughs> what does Bonnie do wrong? She throws away Woody. And over no, she doesn't. Yeah, over she does. a fucking fort. She likes other toys more. That doesn't mean she threw Woody away. Whoa. And also, that's in Toy Story 4, okay, which shouldn't exist. Andy and number correct. It, he huh? gave, Andy gave the Woody to her. Yeah, yeah. but like, that, that's Andy's decision. That's not Bonnie's decision. Bonnie didn't force Andy to do that, and that also helped make Toy Story 3 the perfect ending. She was part of that perfect ending. Bonnie's a little child that doesn't do anything wrong. Okay. All she does is play with toys. Okay, okay, but in Toy Story 3, she wanted Woody. She did. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah exactly. Do you remember? The, she you loved remember? the cowboy. Yeah, in, she did. And the end, she was like hugging him. She didn't want to give him up. Yeah, they ruined... They... Your point uh, two seconds ago was that she didn't like Woody enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She switches up. That's yeah, horse did. Bad writing. She's a... It's not a bad writing. She's six years old. Yeah, she's and... a, I hope she gets bullied. Y'all are y'all are cruel, and that's cruel and unusual punishment for a child that didn't do anything wrong. I like Andy more. I don't think Toy Story 4 should exist. I agree with all that, but Bonnie gets too much hate. Justice League 2017 is a masterpiece. Three... Two, one. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. 
I can't listen, listen, <laughs> listen, let me explain. Let me explain. Because I can't, I could go disagree on this. Listen, oh listen. Shh. Justice League. I don't want to hear it. I want you to hear it. La, 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 the reason, la. The reason. The reason. Quick missile. British intelligence. Tomater. Average intelligence. Is he done yet? I'm going to take the gamble button. <laughs> no! Yeah! No! Ball. Ball. Ow! Ball. Ball. Okay, really? listen. You like I Justice don't, League? I don't. Yeah. Yes, I do. I absolutely Crazy. do. Crazy bullshit. Movie. No, I I think movie. I think it gets too much hate. I don't necessarily think it's a masterpiece, but at the end of that movie, I was happy. I was like, that's a superhero movie. I think they did a lot of things right. It's not as good as the Avengers. It's not as good as Marvel stuff. And I don't see why people say Zack Snyder's is infinitely better. Zack I, Snyder's is infinitely it's better. Not. It is, it is it's, infinitely no, it is better. better. It's better, but it's not infinitely, infinitely better. better. If this Absolutely. question was Snyder cut. I would have said yes, masterpiece. No, no, that you can't a make a Snyder Cut is excellent. No, you can't make a movie an hour longer, make it a square in black and white, and automatically, like, it changes everything about it. You no. should not be allowed to talk about DC ever again. No. All of your Fuck DC opinions no. are horse. You don't like Dark Knight Rises. You like the Justice League. I bet you you like Wonder Woman 84. No, that was garbage. Oh, yeah, that movie sucked. Do that... you like Green Lantern? Yeah, you do. No. You Oh, no, no, no. Dude, you suck. <laughs> no. Okay, I wouldn't necessarily call it a masterpiece, but I said agree because I think it gets too much hate. Last Crazy. one. No, two more. Well, fellow is the better host. This should be interesting. Three, two, one. Agree. God. Yeah! Sorry, bro. Yeah! Sorry, bro. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Even after my Justice League opinion. The, the takes are catching up to me. Yeah. All, All right. right, last one. Yep. Revenge of the Sith is the superior Star Wars movie. Three, two, one. Disagree, disagree, dis... I'm sorry. Oh, okay, first of all, hear me out. That's your favorite Star Wars movie? Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure most people's favorite Star Wars movie. No! <laughs> no! Yes. No, you can't... That's a hot take. No, and you can't act like it's that much of a hot take. Obviously, we think it's Empire. Yes, because it obviously is. Okay, that is. one's a good one. It's my second favorite, but Revenge of the Sith has that battle between Obi-Wan and Anakin, and I like how it builds up the story of how he became... Revenge of the Sith might be top three. It's a good movie. It's and a really good movie. When we posted about this on TikTok, all of our comments were saying Revenge of the Sith. You can't talk about our comments. All of our fans are children. <laughs> That is that is rude. We don't. No, it's not rude. It's a fact. That is rude. Apologize. Ninety percent of the Revenge of the Sith fans in our comments are eleven. Their opinions are invalid. They're not invalid, but they're gonna grow up and be like, they're gonna watch it and they're gonna see Hayden Christensen say, they're gonna see Natalie Portman say, "So love has blinded you," and he's gonna be like, "No, it's because I'm." So in love with you, and they're gonna go, "Uh, I really liked this as a kid. I forgot about this." Red Bench of the Sith has a lot of great stuff, but it's for children. We're moving on to trivia. Um, we haven't done Harry Potter trivia yet. Stop. Stop. See, we haven't started trivia yet. So there's like, I'm going to reset this. There's like a structure to the videos and the podcast to like make it interesting and entertaining. And that involves you not buzzing randomly. Okay. Okay. So like we set them up, we introduce the segment, and then you can buzz when you know the answer. So I'm going to reset it. Reset. See that you buzzed it again. You see that? Because it makes this annoying noise. Okay. Reset. Okay. So we're doing uh, Harry Potter trivia. We haven't done Harry Potter trivia before. She came up with some questions she's going to ask. It's going to be me versus Alex. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got the shirt on. I got the shirt on. Yeah, you like the, the, the wands. Oh, we yeah, we have uh, the Voldemort wand right on this. Yep. <laughs> if I lose, I uh, she does cosplay. We've talked about this. Um, the, the loser will wear. Dress like what was the cosplay you have? Slave Leia, baby. Oh, whoever baby. whoever loses has to dress as Slave Leia for the rest of the there, episode. There's a lot. There's a lot on the line here. <laughs> okay, so what is the name of the Weasley's twins' magic joke? Show? The Weasley's wizard wheezes. Correct. One O, Alex. Yep. Okay, next question. Who is Harry's godfather? No. Ser I thought I pressed it too. Serious Black. <laughs> One to one, baby. Okay, what spell would you use to light the tip of your wand? Lumos. Yes. Lumos. Um, who did Harry Potter end up marrying? Ginny Weasley. Dang it. <laughs> dang it. 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 <laughs> two to two. Here's my favorite. Name the killing curse. No. Kadabra. Dang it. 
Three to two. All right, all right. I'm locking the F in. What's the most powerful one? Elder Wand. <laughs> How many more do we have? Just a couple more. <laughs> Um, how do you free a house elf? No! Giving him clothes. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, who sent Harry his fireball? Serious. Yes. Oh, dude, you are losing. <laughs> okay, what can levitate an option? When guardian Leviosa. Yes. Oh, what's the animal symbol of Ravenclaw? You shouldn't be allowed to she fucking She did it for finish. you. She did it for Joke Shop. She did it for Joke Shop. Uh, uh, an eagle. You're, you're lucky because a lot of people say Raven there. Yep. I'm glad you didn't say Hufflepuff. I know it's a badger, but sometimes it's not a badger. So we're just, okay, we're just going to seven, basically. Are we? Yeah, we're going to seven. Then I only need one more, baby. <laughs> and you need three more. What is the name of Hagrid's stuff? Fang. <laughs> It's five to six. What is the name of the Weasley's family home? The Burrow. No! I buzzed that, I swear to you! No. Oh, no. Shit. No. Shit. Suck on in. my penis. <laughs> All right, let's stop filming. Woo! Everything rolling? <laughs> yep. So close your eyes? Yep. Yeah. All right, what's up? Open up. Open up. <laughs> oh! Whoa! This is so going on so Oh my gosh! I'm so happy! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy! Oh, I'm crying! I'm so happy! This is hilarious! This is how you gotta do the bracket! No one's gonna take me seriously for the rest of the episode. Oh, this is great! So everything rolling. Yep. Or we're doing a bracket. Stay focused. Uh -huh. I know. It's going to be tough to stay focused when yeah. you're looking like that. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> you're going to have to give this a nice deep wash before you wear this again. Well, we're doing a bracket about Riz. <laughs> uh, screw you guys. Button. You, play, you press the button. Oh, it's up shit. to you. Ow. Yeah, that's, that's good. Now it's all skin. <laughs> <sighs> so what's the bracket about, boss man? We're doing a bracket or boss lady, as I should call you. <laughs> or princess. How about princess? Yeah, princess. Yes, refer to Are me. you wearing underwear princess. under there? Yeah, I, I, if I wasn't, my penis and balls would be all over the place. <laughs> like, they would be on the George chair. George Lucas right. says that there's no underwear in space. <laughs> well, <laughs> there is today. And we're not in space. We're in Earth. Uh, because I would be flashing everyone, probably. That's hot. I wanted to see that. And I'm sure... Our Maybe for the patrons. 11-year-old viewers would. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Okay, we're going to get arrested. No, okay. So, this is a bracket about Riz. So, uh, Riz is... Charisma. Charisma, right. So, it's just your ability to talk and seduce someone. Um, this is all an all-male bracket. Now... Some Riz can come from your attractiveness, like how attractive you are, but this is based on your ability to, to like, talk to someone. Yeah, like, like Harry Styles isn't on this list. No, yeah. Like, so, like Star Fox, like from Eternals, like his character wouldn't be on here because his Riz is unbeatable he, because that's his power. Right, and, and yeah, so it's not just how attractive you are, it's how able you are to um, Riz up a female, mm -hmm. as they say. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, here we go. First up is Flynn Rider and the Attack Titan. Attack Titan is Aaron Yeager's Titan. Aaron Yeager the as a Titan. Abs and the he's, jawline. Dude, he's got the jawline. He's got the hair. He's hot as a Titan. I agree, but Flynn Rider for me. Yeah, Flynn Flynn Rider is yeah. hot and also not. He like he Rapunzel within like two days. That yeah. is true. Yeah, he, he's yeah because he's attractive, conventionally attractive, but he's also. He's got the talking, and he's got Correct. the yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. the personality. Mike Wazowski versus Xenomorph. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski yeah. might win he's, this. Thing. He's yeah, he googly got, bear. He got Riz. Maximus. This is a uh, goofy movie. Goofy movie. Sun? He's got yep. he's got a uh, what's her face? Roxanne. Roxanne. Yep. Uh, who we all want. Yeah, she's uh, bad. Uh, yeah, you like that? You look good. Sorry, just stretching a little bit. It's oh, a little I'm, distracting. I'm so distracting. <sighs> 
Maximus versus Wally. Uh, Wally. I think I'm going Wally. Wally's I got have Riz. to go Wally. Because here's the thing: they're both underdog stories. That's Maximus true. isn't popular. He's but... like seen as like an outcast and a nerd at school, and Wally is an outcast back on Earth who's dirty. But he's right. like a dumpster and she's like a sexy robot right i think the gap there is bigger than the gap between maximus and roxanne i'm with you there i'm giving it to wally yeah he has more riz for sure wally moving on um jack sparrow okay versus donkey from shrek jack sparrow period i think jack sparrow donkey the dragon Dra he gets yeah that's, that's quite true. a that's quite a jump but there. Jack Sparrow pulls. Jack Sparrow is he does, hot. But it might be because he's just hot. Like what's No, nah, but he's got the he's got the talking. Yeah. He's got the personality. And he's funny. Like yeah, yeah. girls like that, you know? <clears throat> I guess. Like Orlando Bloom's character in that Pirates of the Caribbean is hot too, but I don't yeah. think he has riz, you know what I'm no, saying? He doesn't. <clears throat> Orlando Bloom is so hot. Yeah, he is. Oh yeah. So Jack Sparrow beats Donkey? Okay. All right. Peter Griffin versus Spider Ham. This I'm is going, the hardest um, one of the game. Spider I'm going Spider-Ham. Well, do we see him? We don't have to. The, his fact that he I'm can talk. I'm assuming this is John Mulaney from Spider-Verse. Yeah. yeah. He does Dude, Peter's f***ing Lois. Lois is bad. Lois is Lois not is bad. Not. Peter looks what? like Griffin. Well, com yeah, compared to Lois. Peter but Porker like, is like hot in his world. I'm Peter could, Parker could pull in this world. No way. Yeah. Yes way. No way. You're Peter Porker? I mean, <laughs> yeah, like if she talks to him long enough. I mean, yeah, uh, I, for for clout. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Ham. For you. I mean, but is there more clout with Peter Griffin? Also true. Mm. Hey, she, she she's the um she's the she deciding the factor here. Yeah, yeah. So the point system works. My vote is five points. Your vote is five points. Uh, Monica's vote is nine points. So if we disagree, Monica's the, vote will win. Okay. Spirit the horse. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Yes. Spirit. Hey, you don't have to be contrarian no. every single time. No, 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 no. Spirit is the hottest horse. I have to vote for my boy Spirit. Oh, but hell. again, that's not Riz. You don't know what he's... He's. Not, do you even remember the movie him being like a Riz guy? Like, Puss in Boots knows how to talk. Your favorite fearless no. hero. He's got the whole, the whole town with him. Girls are falling for him every day. It doesn't matter. It's it does matter. He's the hottest horse. Okay. Spirit, God. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Thank you. Dead ass. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, I really think Andrew from the Escape Pod in Slave Leia outfit should be on the on the bracket. Actually, that wouldn't be fair because I would clearly win it. Um, <laughs> Obi-Wan versus Lumiere. This is, it on paper, it seems hard, but it's not if you think about it for a second. It's clearly Lumiere. Yeah, because Obi-Wan's like a virgin. Yeah, like he kind of pulls a little bit in the Clone Wars and stuff. Well, that, he f***s a team. Yeah, not confirmed. He 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 ha he is dedicated to the Jedi way, and he doesn't you, stay with her. You said the word. I would have left, left the, the Jedi, Jedi order. order, but she didn't. Mm. And maybe if he had more Riz, she would have said that. That's damn. Lumiere is like if, if you. I'm not saying you're not Lumiere because Lumiere like bad bad. I'm What's not having name? sex with Lumiere. Plumet. <laughs> What's his girlfriend's yeah, yeah, yeah. name? Plumet. The little duster. When they do the musical, they always make like every time I've seen the musical, Plumet is always the baddest girl in the and Lumiere gets her. Cast. If That's you what look I'm up, saying. if you look up Riz, in the, if you look up Riz in the dictionary, it's Lumiere. I know, but yes. Lumiere yes. beats Obi Wan. I'm giving it to you. You agree? Yes. I Light agree. from Death Note. Yeah, Light Yagami and T'Challa. T'Challa. So you get a guy that you get a guy that can. Every girl in his universe has girls literally like cutting their souls, their lives in half for <coughs> this guy. And you get. <coughs> this is rude, Andrew. I was in the middle of a rant. Yeah, I'm sorry. I <coughs> swallowed water on. Okay. <coughs> or you get Chadwick Boseman, the late great Chadwick Boseman, who freezes. <coughs> Jesus Christ. At the sight of uh, <coughs> Lapita Nyong'o, which I don't. <laughs> I don't blame him for Lupita Nyong'o is gorgeous, stunning, and yeah. an amazing actress. Um, he does f her though. He does f Lupita. He's got he a has a kid with her. I don't That's know. True. I don't know enough about Death Note. I haven't seen it all. But I, I, I'm. I'll bow to you. All right, we'll put him through. Yeah. Mister Incredible Jafar. 
Javar's creepy. He tries to get Jasmine. J Mr. Incredible, the baddest Elastigirl. girl in... Elastigirl, exactly. That, that wins. He Elastigirl wins. cosplay? Yeah, that's next. <clears throat> that's gotta come. I mean, <laughs> I still can't breathe. <coughs> Can you calm down, please? <laughs> okay, look, water went into my lungs. Okay, give me a second. <clears throat> Modok, don't know why he's in here. Versus Woody. Modok's gross. Modok doesn't know how to talk. Modok's weird. Woody gets Bo Peep. Woody's moving. Yeah, Woody, on. Woody, 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 Woody. Diego from the Ice Age. Yep, yeah, the, uh, the saber tooth. Yep, yeah, hot. Yep. Versus uh, Alex from the Escape Pod. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going with Diego. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Get him out of here! All right. Why am I on this? We need. We needed. We we, we had sixty four seeds. We, we had made this list together. I was not a part of this. He added me in later. Yeah, we needed sixty four seeds. That's a lot of seeds. We needed some people that were going to get out immediately. A real fictional character for me, <sighs> yeah. just to bully me. No, we we just we, we just needed to fill it out with people that were obviously going to get cut. We had I to have we had to have some low seeds. You know what I mean? Steve Harrington versus Zuko. Steve from Stranger Things versus Zuko. This is potentially the hardest matchup. Zuko's got the big old oh, face God. scar. And he's still able to pull. Like, mm. that's hot. Like, he's hot. Season three, Zuko is very hot. He also pulls May. She's kind of bad. <clears throat> but he does go on that date that one time, and he does not know how to talk to females. He's nervous the whole time. Zuko. Yeah. I don't think I'm giving it to Zuko here. Mm -mm, I wouldn't. Steve, no, that, I'm like, I was agreeing it's with Steve you. Harrington. Yeah. Steve Harrington gets Nancy first season. Mm -hmm. He kind of Fs it up by being a jerk, but then his character development is kind of like Zuko. Zuko has a great character development. So does Steve. By season four, Nancy's kind of coming back around. I defer to you. I don't watch the children's show. Whoa. What? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about show Avatar? Stranger Things. How is that a kid's show? He does. I don't know. I've never if seen If I watched it as a six-year-old, I think I would be traumatized. Yeah, it's it's really? a traumatizing show. Yeah, there's no? some intense parts that to that. Serious? I would not yeah. be able then to why see why did they have eight-year-old Millie Bobby Brown in there? Eight-year-old. You know, you know that you know there's you know there's something? child actors in horror movies, right? Yeah. yeah, but like they're horror movies; they're not advertised for kids. Stranger Things is like the same show as like. Yeah, but your your point was that there's a child actor in it. Ergo, it can't be a. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, it's 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 uh, it's not as intense as a horror movie, but it is a thriller for sure. Yeah, it's got some scary parts in it. I'm sad to put Zuko out, but Steve Harrington, Daredevil. Versus Gil from Finding Nemo. This is hard. Oh, yeah, that is a hard one. Actually, it's not, if you think about it for two seconds. Um, Gil has, like, a chokehold on all the women of America, but we never see him once fish. Char <laughs> Daredevil f***s in the comics. And in the shows. Uh, he gets multiple multiple people in the Daredevil show, then he gets She-Hulk. He's a real root rat. Yeah. All right, Spider-Man, Tom's version. Tom Holland Spider-Man okay. versus L Lou Bloom, which is the Nightcrawler guy. What the f*** is this? Oh Jake Gyllenhaal and the Nightcrawler? Yeah. He seduces that woman, right? He, like, rapes her. He, he like, blackmails exactly. her. Yeah, he kind of yeah, blackmails That's her. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm going with Tom Holland. You're, get, you're Tom getting Holland. him out on a technicality because he raped her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, terrible. yeah. No, he's a terrible person. Um, uh, that was from Instagram. That was a suggestion from Instagram. Jesus. He did blackmail that woman. That was terrible. That was one of the most uncomfortable scenes I've ever watched. Yes. Like, because his character just, like, didn't care. Yes. Like, he just went full for it. And I was like, this is gross. Yeah. And it worked. Okay. Spidey Tom moves on. Prince Eric versus Toby Spider-Man. Oh, I'm going to have to say Toby. I think I am, too. Mm -hmm. I don't think Kirsten Dunst is hot, but he does Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah, but that's during Spider-Man 3. You're going to tell me this is Riz? Actually, this is kind of Riz right now. This is hot. Oh, this is getting oh. me going. I don't know about you. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> <sighs> no, Spider-Man 3, Toby, is like picture perfect zero Riz. Bryce oh, yeah. Dallas Howard is the hottest girl in those movies. You think the, the comb down emo Toby, Peter Parker, is Riz? He f her. He still pulls. Prince Eric gets Ariel. But he has to, they sing the whole song, Kiss the Girl. The girl's like throwing herself at him. 
She can't even speak until they kiss, and he won't even kiss her. No, that makes him a good guy. He couldn't get consent. He doesn't want to get me too This is true. That's a good take, but it's <laughs> going to Toby. All right, y'all are crazy. Toby's moving on. You good with that? All right. Bugs Bunny versus Pleakley from Lilo and Stitch. Pleakley's gay. You can still have Riz and be gay. True. Yeah. Bugs Bunny gets Lola. Bugs? Yes. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, he wins. What about Pleakley versus Alex from the Escape Pod? <laughs> I'm going Pleakley. <laughs> <laughs> I would go Alex on that one. Okay. Unbelievable. Lightning McQueen okay. versus Perry the Platypus. Perry. <clears throat> Lightning McQueen is I'm a stud. Him. Lightning's yeah. loud. I'm going with Lightning McQueen. I. He gets girls to literally flash him. You remember that scene? Oh, that's true. He's he's a superstar. He gets Sally. Winnie Winnie the Pooh versus Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey. Who has more Riz? Christian Grey, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not even a question. That's not, Winnie the that's Pooh not even really? a question. Dakota Johnson. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh has, has sex old, with old honey. Father. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. But Winnie the Pooh is walking around with his dick hanging out all the time. He no, doesn't wear pants. He he's doesn't only have got a, a penis. Shirt on. He doesn't have a penis. I've seen I've seen a bear. Bear some penises. <laughs> Not that bear. Dude, he's gotta have a bear. <laughs> it's Christian Grey. McLovin. Yeah, but, ew. A boy. From Super Bad. Unbelievable. And, and what? That you don't know that he's from Super Bad. He's <laughs> one of the most iconic characters in all of comedy. And Iron Man. I think this one's pretty easy. I haven't seen Super Bad, but it's Iron Man. But McLovin Iron is Man. at the end of that movie, that bad girl. Can you stop saying that? He's, he's actually her, though. Like, actually, that actually happens. Well, Iron Man's actually doing that in Iron Man. He is also Christine Everhart. You're right. Oh, true. Leslie Bibb. And, bad. and he's a billionaire we philanthropist. See, we have, we see Playboy. Play, yeah. Hold on, if I don't get this. Billionaire Playboy. I know guys with none of that worth 10 of you. Uh, no, take that away. Take off the suit. suit. What are you? Uh, billionaire Play Playboy philanthropist. Uh, no. Genius billionaire Playboy philanthropist. I know guys with none of that worth 10 of you. You're not the guy to make the sacrifice play, to lay down on the wire and let the other guy crawl over you. I think I would, I would just cut, cut the away. wire. Always a way out. All right, anyways. Uh, uh, Iron Man. No. Iron no, Man. I'm going Mc... Are you out of your Mc... in mind? It's McLovin. <laughs> Iron Man. No, it's Iron Man. Thank he you. He could say one word. We see one him have, word, and girls would come calling. We see him have sex with two girls in the entirety of what, would 11 you, films? Would you rather have sex with Tony Stark or McLovin? <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that's my point. This is my point. Is Tony Stark has all the intangibles. McLovin doesn't. He doesn't even have a last name. And he's... So you'd rather f*** McLovin? <laughs> You've seen both of their movies. Which one's more attractive by the end? Again, Robert Downey Jr.'s hot. Yeah, but he's this also got the... the point I'm trying to make. Nah. Peter Pan versus Anakin Skywalker. It's Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. But um, Peter Pan is a child and acts like a child. But Peter Pan, like, has a huge fan base online of, like, girls that are trying to f*** him. So does Anakin. But Anakin's riz is... I don't like sand... Yeah, his lines are terrible. It's coarse, it's rough, it's irritating. Yeah, his lines are terrible. But the fact that he still gets Padme... That's a testament to how attractive he is. That's true. He kills all those Tusken Raiders, and she comforts him. That's we, He's a lunatic. He doesn't have That makes race. her a lunatic. He, he committed genocide, that, and she was like, oh. This is my point. Is like... Either way, it's Anakin. Animals. I slaughtered them my animals. God, the prequels are so bad. You said there was bad? They're bad. Bro, no. This is I like love one them. of my favorites. I love them what? because I grew up with them, but they're bad what? movies. This I'm is chafing I'm actually me. offended you said that. What the f***? A lot of people are offended. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. She slapped him. She hit the button multiple times. Wow, you pissed her off. He deserved it. He deserved it. Oh my gosh. Do you have any like nipple tape? <laughs> No, I do not have okay. any. Okay. All right, just just checking. Um, well, I would pay for you to take that off, and it'd just be red. Oh. I mean, yeah. Is it a uh, uh, Spidey Andrew? Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Okay. Ned Leeds. Spidey Andrew. Yeah, but Ned's so great. Andrew's hot. Yeah, but he's he's. You can't just be hot and have the best like love story in any of the Spider Man movies. But you can't Ned just Leeds be hot. 
Betty Brant. Look at Ned Leeds. He does have a bigger hill to climb. That is true. It's a large hill to climb. It's Betty Brant had a large hill to climb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking like who's like okay, so Andrew f- Emma Stone, right? Great, but like I'm just saying Betty Brant Ned f- Betty Brant it holds a lot more weight. I just think it's an extra, extra, extra large order. Yes. Um, what do you think? I'm so gonna go to Andrew. Like, come on, Emma Stone. I'm just saying. This she is a hard. This is a hard. This Betty is. Brent. That's true. I'm just saying. If we were to look at the scale, <laughs> I think that Ned's overall accomplishment weighs a whole lot more. Yeah. True. I don't know, man. I, I would only give it to Andrew because of the love story. The love story is too great. Yeah, it is way too good. Way too good. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying it. So you're going with Ned Leeds? It's it's a it's certainly a big and tall order. All right, we've, we've gotten your your fat jokes. Okay, can you actually give us an answer now? <laughs> yes. I'm going with Ned Leeds. Okay, no, I'm going Spidey Andrew because he has some the 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 in the closet talking scene and the him like helping her escape thing and their chemistry that's not him just being attractive that's him having riz and i'm going with him again i'm just saying it's andrew's conventionally attractive he's not punching above his own weight as much as lee shang and mulan let's get down to business guy versus milo thatch i have my answer yeah it's milo Milo. yeah yeah i I mean uh, mulan he a, a, a dude. He thinks it's a dude. That is he true. falls in love with a dude. That doesn't mean he doesn't have Riz. No, it's fine. I mean, it's Milo. That, means, that means Mulan has Riz even as a dude. That's crazy. Which is very... Mulan, maybe maybe should be, maybe Mulan, Mulan as a dude this. should be on this yes. list. <clears throat> but Milo, no, it's Milo... It's Milo. Milo is... No, it's Milo. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it when it's a more tough yeah. question. You're talking about a large hill to climb. He, he, he has some disadvantages. Melman versus Robin Hood. Robin Hood. The fox. Oh my god. Um. Robin Hood is talented. He gets made Marion, and people thirst over him all the time. Melman is a giraffe. Giraffe supremacy. He f- Gloria. He f- jaded. Can you stop steps. saying yeah. that seriously? <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to edit that constantly. And this is a Riz bracket, not a have sex with everyone bracket. <laughs> all right. Well, he bangs Gloria. Okay. Yeah, but G- Gloria. Who's more attractive, Gloria or Maid Marion? The fox? Yeah. No, it goes to Gloria. I'm banging the fox. I'm banging Gloria. Okay, I'm going with Robin Hood. I'm getting you on all of Dude, these. Man, she has a bias against long necks. She's voted me no, out. She just, she just has a bias in favor of sexy Star Wars characters sitting by her. <laughs> um, Prince Naveen or Sokka? This one's hard. Ooh. Naveen gets Tiana as a frog. But she's also a frog. So that's that's equal no. This yes. that's equal playing fields. Like Prince Naveen is hot. People talk about him being like extremely hot. Sokka's okay. Like he's not like people aren't talking about him as the hottest fictional characters ever. Sokka's Prince banging. Sokka gets sure. Yue. Sokka gets Suki. Sokka has Tai Lee flirting with her. Suki and so- uh, Tai Lee are like the two hottest people in that show. And Yue ain't bad either. There's multiple scenes where Sokka's like flirting with people and it's working. And he's not even trying. Prince Naveen is conventionally attractive, and she's also a frog, so that levels out. I'm going Sokka, but... We get more of Sokka, so I will go Sokka. R2-D2. <laughs> versus, versus Darth Maul. Why is, why, is this, why is this surprising to you? Oh, my God. It's clearly R2. Yeah, it's, it's R2. Yeah. Like, what can Who Darth- does he... I don't know, but he probably whoever you know he wants. He puts his little metal <laughs> penis into all the Star Destroyers. Yeah, he's having the sex with. And he had sex with the all Death right, Star. All right, R2D2 can win. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Darth Maul doesn't do anything. R2, his little. Beep, 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 like, he's always like firing off one liners to C3P. He's not going to make it past any more rounds, but he will beat Darth Maul. Just think of any astromech and then any female astromech, and they're going to want to have sex with R2. I, I'm with you. I'll give you that. He's also like <laughs> responsible for like saving the universe a couple times. Exactly. No, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give it to Anyone Archie. who penetrates the Death Star is winning in my book. Um, Does he penetrate both? No, he doesn't. That'd be awesome. Barry Benson. The B-movie. From the B-movie. He's got... Oh, no. 
there's no way one of these two has to get out first round. We should change this. What is it? It's Han Solo. Oh. It's Barry Benson. It's got to be. Oh, but but Han gets the two, probably two of the three yeah. baddest women in Star Wars. And he, he gets Kira and Leia. So I will say this. I will say this, right? Barry Benson has the singular greatest achievement involving on this Liz. List, on this list. But it's just a single achievement. And I don't know if it would be replicated anymore. I think that woman's just kind of psycho. He's this big and he's this big and he's a bee and he seduces a human female. True, but maybe she has something wrong with her. So right. To be honest, I'm going Han Solo. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got to be Barry Benson. No. You can't convince me of this. Han Solo has a better track record. He talks more. Barry, like, is kind of awkward and for some reason he just gets a woman. But, but he. <laughs> but Barry, has the, like you said, has the single greatest achievement on this list. Yes. You can't take away from that. I know he does, but there's Han's no, track record is better. There's no way. So you would give it to Han over Wally? Which is probably the second best achievement on this list? Would you Han or Wally? Cuz I'd give it to Barry over Wally. I'd give it to Barry over Wally too. True. So my God, point is is you're giving Han, you're getting Han over Wally? I know, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep at night if a bee gets Han Solo off this list. Uh, but Han Two humans, and the bee bangs a human. He's a human. I don't think Han Solo can replicate that. Han Solo can do this because he's that Han guy. Han Solo is He's that guy. Barry only did it once. But, but then he can also get a bee. If he can get a human, he can for certain get any of the bees he wants. So this is my point. Is It's the best achievement on this list. You cannot take that out for somebody that is conventionally attractive that gets with other conventionally attractive people. Okay, but first of all, Han Solo is a joke. I mean, a jerk. He is a jerk. And then he still no, pulled Princess Leia. Absolutely. He was a jerk. I'm not saying Kira is the hottest woman in Star Wars. Han is up there. He shouldn't be out in the first round. I agree. But Barry has to move on. He is the best achievement on this list. This is this is the, uh, crazy. This is like making a a top ten MCU characters list and not having Tom Holland Spider Man because he's owned by Sony. This is such a technicality. You have to. You have to give it to Barry. I'm going Han. No way! I can't believe it! I, I will sit here all day and praise Barry's achievement till the end of time. I just don't know what I can do. I, I, I can't believe you're doing this. You're you're so wrong. You're going Han? I'm going Han. Hold on. I might. I'm I might. Sorry. The decision is yours. It's the best, it's the greatest achievement on this list. I don't know. I don't you, know. It's don't gotta know. be Barry. I'll do Barry. Yes! <laughs> yes! If Han Solo was up against anyone else, he would have won. Like, well, I don't. I think I would have given it to Wally over Han. But here's, again, here's the thing. I don't know necessarily. Yes, it is the biggest achievement, but it also might be the biggest achievement. I'm gonna regret putting him through. I already did it, so it's in stone. It might be a technicality because she's just crazy. Like she wants to have sex with a bee. Like, yeah, she's just psycho. Yeah, like like, like nowhere nowhere in the movie. Like people thirst over Han Solo. In real life, no one's thirsting over the bee, first of all. Second of all, nowhere in the movie are we seeing, like, Barry, like, quick talk and, and be flirtatious and other than, you like jazz. Like, that's his big line. That is Han Solo true. is way better. I, mm, It's done, but. It's a good argument. Thor versus Simba. Thor bangs the space pirate. That's his wife. I'm going to say Thor. And Thor bangs. Simba bangs Nala. Natalie Portman. Simba. But he loses Natalie Portman and then she yeah. gets cancer. I'm so glad they gave her cancer, by the way. Oh. It's comic accurate. Oh, you, are you So you're glad she died? She doesn't die in the book. I know, in the movie. No, I don't, I don't like anything about that movie other than them giving her cancer. I'm really glad. I didn't think they'd have the balls to do it. I wish Because they, they didn't have the balls to go full gore. They, they screwed up gore's origin. Oh, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. That movie could have been way better. Yeah, that's a bad MCU movie. I'm so glad that y'all are going Thor. Yep, I'm going Thor. Yeah, he loses Natalie Portman though. You're right, but then he gets her back, and then she gets cancer. Ken from Barbie and Ken and Tarzan. 
Easy Tarzan. Tarzan. Yeah, Tarzan like doesn't speak English. Yeah, he's raised by apes and he gets Jane within like a month. A month, yeah. you're right, yep. Ron Weasley versus the asset, which is from Shape of Water. Asset. 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 It, the, the asset is the second biggest achievement on this list. Yeah, he's a creepy fish creature that has sex with an, a human. A human. Ron Weasley. And Hermione is ugly in the books. It's not Emma Watson in the books. So it's yeah. a lot less impressive in the yeah. books. You're going the asset. Yeah. Uh, Sid the Sloth. My boy. <laughs> Captain America. Um, is this a question? Captain America. It's Captain America. But Cap sh Sid shouldn't make it past the oh. first round. Cap has no Riz. That is absolutely not true. He gets Sharon and Peggy. Mm -hmm. He gets he gets two people Weird. within the same family, and they're Weird. both hot, and he goes back. He, he travels in time to spend his life with one. That's ultimate Yeah, Riz. yeah, because he can't wow. get anybody else. Cause he's That's not true. He got nerd. Sharon. He's conventionally attractive, and it carries him. It's the same thing as Hayden Christian. No, his morals carry I can't carry wait him. for both of them to be out next round. No, he treats... Women with respect, and that's what carries him. That is true. Preach, that. preach, yeah. preach. Sid, Sid has unspoken Riz as well. Like he, he has a lot going against him. He is an annoying person, but he yeah. still. I think he gets a female at some point in there. There is a female Sid yeah. that he gets. Gaston versus SpongeBob. Holy crap! Neither of them have Riz, but I can't give it to Gaston. It has to be no. It's SpongeBob. He gets the the squirrel. That's what I'm saying. I, I can't give it to Gaston. No, but Gaston can't get with the girl he wants to get with. Gaston has the smallest penis on this list. Gaston has no no penis. No you think pee -pee. Wally has a bigger penis than Absolutely. Gaston? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just trying to imagine his penis. Who has the biggest penis on this? I think it's R2-D2. That thing comes out. Yeah. And it extends. Darth Maul has the biggest penis. Or he has the smallest penis but and he's, he's overcompensating. Or he has the biggest penis but it has like little horns on it. Well, B-movie, Barry has the smallest penis. Like actually. Actually. Yeah. But we're talking proportional to their body. But proportional but, to their body, it's for sure Gaston, because Gaston's huge. Okay, SpongeBob's <laughs> SpongeBob's moving on. King Julian. King Julian. Yeah. Uh, I like to move it, move it. Let's hear your impression. I like to move it, move it. Not bad. Not bad. You got one for us? No, I do. <laughs> we don't blame you. Uh, <laughs> Ferb. Here's my Ferb impression. Easy. Ferb. Easy. Ferb gets Vanessa. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with Ferb. Yeah. Ferb is like a favorite on this. Yeah, Ferb's up there. Yeah. Ferb's smooth. He's got that He's got that quiet Riz. He's, he's not talking a lot. Hair. He's short green hair. Is that it? He doesn't even... Yep, that's it. Yeah, oh. wow. All right, that's All right, the bracket, so baby. Do the... Follow us on Discord. If you want a Patreon, let us know. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok. It's all right here. Uh, follow Monica. We will put her stuff in the descriptions. Absolutely. I mean, I guess we're wrapping up. We're not causing any beef or anything. No, we're def we're definitely causing beef. Oh, we don't have to. It, no, no reason to. <laughs> Button. Okay. Why me? He pressed it. Yeah. yeah!